in today's video I'm gonna get some gameplay for you guys um, after I find out how to play this game again there we go so um, what I wanted to do is get some 60 frames per second gameplay for you guys it's only thanks to rated D that I'm able to do these videos uh, because he taught me how so um, we're gonna get some gameplay out so this is uh, Dragon Quest Heroes. I've uh, put a good amount of gameplay on this YouTube channel, but never in 60 frames per second. This was a 60 frames per second uh, game, and it was only available on the PS4 when it first came out. Then it went to PC, uh, and of course that was the last system it went to. The follow-up in the United States uh, is rumored to be coming to the Vita as well as the PS3, because that's how it is in Japan. It's going to have four-player online co-op. Um, it's good. Once again, it's going to be on the Vita, PS3, and PS4 in Japan. Uh, of course, the PS4 version. It's rumored to still be in 60 frames per second, but we're going to see how that works with the online co-op. If they continue that or they take it away. Uh, so, I liked how fluid this game was in 60 frames and how shiny it was. Uh, you know, it was... It's, it's more of a Japanese RPG tower defense type of game. Uh, the map's pretty badass. Uh, you know, it's up to you to explore, of course. So, I mean, you don't have to stay in one area. There's tons and tons of enemies to fight. Um, I'm all, actually I'm getting another kind of Dynasty Warriors type game like this uh, on March 15th. Um, so, you know, not this week coming up, but the following week. Uh, which is the same day as the GDC event. Um, also, another cool thing, that game is going to be M-rated, so I'm going to be kind of limited on what uh, gameplay I post on YouTube because of the type of M-rating it received and why it received that M-rating. But I post uh, like first impressions gameplay of it day one or do a live stream, but... Um, Hope nobody gets salty about what we get. Uh, once again, that is another 1080p 60 frames per second PS4 exclusive. It has the seal of approval only on PlayStation. Um, I did hear that there was a couple PC petitions for that particular game. Uh, Square Enix took it upon themselves to put this game on PC uh, at a later time than when they released it exclusively for the PS4 in the United States. But, uh... It's still an awesome game. Oh, I forgot. Because this game was similar to Dragon Ball, you could do a little charge. I haven't played this game since I platinumed it. Uh, but I did get the digital version. Because it, it really was badass. It was a badass game. There we go. Let me go find a nice, oh, no, no, no. A nice line. I am the master of monster That's how you do it. It was circle. Secret of evolution. It was circle. I haven't been on here in a while, guys. Forgive me. This is a super attack. I knocked those guys out. Oh shit. That's a pretty badass game. I'm trying to figure out how I switch to other people. <laughs> okay, so I got that character that uh, reminds me of Link. If you don't know who Link is, he's from like the Legend of Zelda. Oh yeah, he had that spinning electrical spin thing. Damn, he do it three times now. 
I remember when I uh, first got that attack, I only used to do one spin. It's a good way to move around, too. Uh, for 1080p, uh, sorry, for 1080p, <laughs> 60 frames per second game, it does have a lot of action, a lot of going-ons, uh, and it still maintains it quite well. Um, I don't see any uh, noticeable drops with my eye, but I can clearly tell that it's 60 frames, plus it already got confirmed that it was on release. Um... So, I guess that's pretty much it. This is uh, Dragon Quest Heroes. This is 1080p, 60 frames per second, exclusive for the PS4. Also, available on the PC, only other platform that's available on. Uh, well, I'll see you guys later.